Ezekiel chapter 35 The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, set your face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and say to it, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, Mount Seir, and I will stretch out my hand against you, and I will make you a desolation and a waste. I will lay your cities waste, and you shall become a desolation, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Because you cherished perpetual enmity, and gave over the people of Israel to the power of the sword at the time of their calamity, at the time of their final punishment, therefore, as I live, declares the Lord God, I will prepare you for blood, and blood shall pursue you. Because you did not hate bloodshed, therefore blood shall pursue you. I will make Mount Seir a waste and a desolation, and I will cut off from it all who come and go, and I will fill its mountains with the slain. On your hills, and in your valleys, and in all your ravines, those slain with the sword shall fall. I will make you a perpetual desolation, and your cities shall not be inhabited. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Because you said, These two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will take possession of them. Although the Lord was there, therefore as I live, declares the Lord God, I will deal with you according to the anger and envy that you showed because of your hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I judge you, and you shall know that I am the Lord. I have heard all the revilings that you uttered against the mountains of Israel, saying, They are laid desolate, they are given us to devour. And you magnified yourselves against me with your mouth, and multiplied your words against me. I heard it. Thus says the Lord God, While the whole earth rejoices, I will make you desolate. As you rejoiced over the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so I will deal with you, you shall be desolate. Mount Seir, and all Edom, all of it. Then they will know that I am the Lord. Chapter 36 Son of man, prophesy to the mountains of Israel, and say, Mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. The enemy said of you, Aha! The ancient heights have become our possession. Therefore prophesy and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Because they ravaged and crushed you from every side, so that you became the possession of the rest of the nations, and the object of people's malicious talk and slander. Therefore, mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Sovereign Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to the mountains and hills, to the ravines and valleys, to the desolate ruins and the deserted towns that have been plundered and ridiculed by the rest of the nations around you. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. In my burning zeal, I have spoken against the rest of the nations and against all Edom, for with glee and with malice in their hearts, they made my land their own possession, so that they might plunder its pasture land. Therefore prophesy concerning the land of Israel, and say to the mountains and hills, to the ravines and valleys, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, I speak in my jealous wrath, because you have suffered the scorn of the nations. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I swear with uplifted hand, that the nations around you will also suffer scorn. But you, mountains of Israel, will produce branches and fruit for my people Israel, for they will soon come home. I am concerned for you, and will look on you with favor. You will be plowed and sown, and I will cause many people to live on you, yes, all of Israel. The towns will be inhabited, and the ruins rebuilt. I will increase the number of people and animals living on you, and they will be fruitful and become numerous. I will settle people on you 
as in the past, and will make you prosper more than before. Then you will know that I am the Lord. I will cause people, my people Israel, to live on you. They will possess you, and you will be their inheritance. You will never again deprive them of their children. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Because some say to you, You devour people and deprive your nation of its children. Therefore, you will no longer devour people or make your nation childless, declares the Sovereign Lord. I will not let you hear insults from the nations any more, nor will you suffer disgrace from the peoples any longer, nor will you make your nation stumble any longer, declares the Lord God. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel was living on their own land, they defiled it by their ways and their deeds. Their way before me was like the uncleanness of a woman in her impurity. Therefore, I poured out my wrath on them for the blood which they had shed on the land, because they had defiled it with their idols. I also scattered them among the nations, and they were dispersed throughout the lands. According to their ways and their deeds, I judged them. When they came to the nations where they went, they profaned my holy name, because it was said of them, These are the people of the Lord, yet they have left his land? But I had concern for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the nations where they went. Therefore say to the house of Israel, This is what the Lord God says, it is not for your sake, house of Israel, that I am about to act, but for my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations where you went. And I will vindicate the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned among them. Then the nations will know that I am the Lord, declares the Lord God. When I show myself holy among you in their sight, for I will take you from the nations, and gather you from all the lands, and I will bring you into your own land. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. Moreover, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you, and I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh and I will put my spirit within you, and bring it about that you walk in my statutes, and are careful, and follow my ordinances. And you will live in the land that I gave to your forefathers. So you will be my people, and I will be your God. Moreover, I will save you from all your uncleanness, and I will call for the grain and multiply it, and I will not bring famine on you. Instead, I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the produce of the field, so that you will not receive again the disgrace of famine among the nations. Then you will remember your evil ways and your deeds that were not good, and you will loathe yourselves in your own sight for your wrongdoings and your abominations. I am not doing this for your sake, declares the Lord God. Let that be known to you. Be ashamed and humiliated for your ways, house of Israel. This is what the Lord God says. On the day that I cleanse you from all your wrongdoings, I will populate the cities, and the places of ruins will be rebuilt. The desolated land will be cultivated, instead of being a desolation in the sight of everyone who passes by. And they will say, This desolated land has become like the Garden of Eden, and the waste, desolated and ruined cities are fortified and inhabited. Then the nations around you that are left will know that I, the Lord, have rebuilt the ruined places and planted that which was desolated. I, the Lord, have spoken, and I will do it. This is what the Lord God says. This too I will let the house of Israel ask me to do for them. I will increase their people like a flock, like the flock for sacrifices, like the flock at Jerusalem 
during her appointed feasts, so will the waste cities be filled with flocks of people. Then they will know that I am the Lord. Chapter 37 The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the middle of the valley, and it was full of bones. He had me pass among them all around, and behold, there were very many on the surface of the valley, and behold, they were very dry. Then he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, Lord God, you yourself know. Again he said to me, Prophesy over these bones, and say to them, You dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord God says to these bones. Behold, I am going to make breath enter you, so that you may come to life, and I will attach tendons to you, make flesh grow back on you, cover you with skin, and put breath in you, so that you may come to life, and you will know that I am the Lord. So I spoke this message, just as he told me. Suddenly as I spoke, there was a rattling noise all across the valley. The bones of each body came together and attached themselves as complete skeletons. Then as I watched, muscles and flesh formed over the bones. Then skin formed to cover their bodies, but they still had no breath in them. Then he said to me, Speak a prophetic message to the winds, son of man. Speak a prophetic message and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Come, O breath, from the four winds, breathe into these dead bodies so they may live again. So I spoke the message as he commanded me, and breath came into their bodies. They all came to life and stood up on their feet, a great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones represent the people of Israel. They are saying, We have become old, dry bones. All hope is gone. Our nation is finished. Therefore prophesy to them and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. O oh, my people, I will open your graves of exile and cause you to rise again. Then I will bring you back to the land of Israel. When this happens, O oh, my people, you will know that I am the Lord. I will put my spirit in you and you will live again and return home to your own land. Then you will know that I the Lord have spoken, and I have done what I said. Yes, the Lord has spoken.